Dietary Science to your May numerology reading. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, this is a collective energy reading using all that air energy for Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. So welcome, guys. Welcome. Let's see what's going on with you and your your energy over here. We have 85. You could be seeing a lot of aids for manifestation, following those dreams, making those dreams come true. Um, with the five over here, talking about the ultimate change. So, very beautiful. Okay, so over here, let's see what's going on. It says, follow your dreams. This card is about reaching for the stars and following your dreams, whatever they may be. You're being encouraged to put your hopes and dreams at the forefront of your mind and believe without a doubt that they are really coming true. Pay no mind to poverty conscious fear or competition because the universe is abundant and there is no limitation even though you have no control over how or when things will unfold divine timing and order will ensue i'm sorry ensure that everything serves your greater good let go of expectations and embrace the magic in the mystery or in celebrating the unknown you will attract synchronistic opportunities even when you feel as if success is way beyond your reach, never give up on your dreams because they really will come true. Ooh. It's time to improve your current situation and your mindset, setting things into motion as they are unfolding in the perfect timing. They cannot be taken away because they're already karmically etched in stone. Ho, oh, ho, ho. I reach for the stars and follow my dreams as the affirmation. Jeez, boy. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Already etched in stone. That means it's, you know, it's intimate. It's done. Will of fortune. Wow. <laughs> You've already set the tone. You've already put it in the Akashic Records. You've already done what you're supposed to do. This is a card that's saying, you've done that. Yeah, the Holy Grail. Look at that. Inner discovery, finding sacredness you are what you seek ace of cups cup is over filled with everything that you have been wishing for desiring manifesting it's already coming through it's saying the universe has already etched this in stone over here my friends meaning there's no turning back it just you have to wait now for the perfect timing just keep believing and know that it's coming. Halls of the Enemini initiations. Secrets revealed. Treasures uncovered. Initiations. You've already initiated it. That's what it's saying. It's already been initiated. It's already been set in stone. And you know, it's crazy because unless you have the Wheel of Fortune, right, which is faded, I always say it all the time. Nothing's etched in stone unless it's faded. You've made this faded. And it's kind of crazy because it makes me think that whatever you picked up on that you needed was somehow or another already fated and destined to come true one way or another. It's just about how you applied it, how you initiated it. Yeah, you initiated. Hmm. That's deep. Okay, so... Indecision, well, like it just said, make sure that you keep yourself where you're supposed to be. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. Very beautiful. Keeping yourself grounded with your root chakra, knowing and keeping yourself in the knowing, in your intuition, using your intuition, but also the knowing. It's the knowing. You know somewhere within this situation by communicating and getting maybe downloads, having some kind of communication, with all the blue in here, you are you're setting yourself the tone of the knowing. A lot of you know this is going to happen. I see the, the see this pink over here. That is the crown chakra. It says you already know. The blue is saying I communicated it. I know it's coming because I set the tone. I put in the initiation. It just followed through. Have faith in your dreams. 
same thing I already said, and then all the purple again saying, I already know, I have the clarity, the understanding to know that this is coming. You're just waiting for the perfect timing, my friends. That's all you're waiting for. And you know it. And you know, there's a piece inside of us that our analytical ego mind wants to say, maybe it's not going to happen because I've been wishing on this for six months. Maybe I'm wishing on this three months, three weeks, and it just seems like it's taking forever. Spirit wants you to understand that it's already etched in stone. It is happening. And I think for a lot of you, that's all you need. That's all you needed to get rid of that worry. That's all you needed to get rid of that indecision was just me saying that. Because I think for a lot of you, I think you know intuitively this is really going to happen, but I think that there's a piece inside of you because we're human that says maybe I asked for too much. Maybe it's not going to happen. Maybe what I'm waiting for or think that's going to happen is just all within my imagination. It's not. It's etched in stone. It's coming. It's already giving you the Holy Grail. It's already giving you the initiation to, to the, how I want to say, the Akashic Pulse. It's already written in the books. Just keep hearing that. It's already written in stone. It's etched. Believe in the... This is what's... Yes, thank you, Spirit. Believe in the impossible. And I think that that's... Some of you are like, you don't understand. This dream and this wish that I have is so big. Maybe I am... Gone overboard. No, believe in magic. Believe in the impossible, guys. It's once in a blue moon. You got your blue moon. Your hard work is paying off. All the hard work, all the manifestation, all the everything that you've done has made this your destiny. So hold that vision. Don't let it go. Believe in the impossible. You have faith that it's going to happen. Follow those dreams. It's etched in stone and hold that vision. Nobody take that vision away from you, my friends. Hold on. I got the wrong deck. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. You are aligned for this. You're ready for... Excuse me. Whoa. You're ready for this fresh new start or reconnection or whatever it is you're doing. Whatever you are do doing, you're emotionally built up, ready and strong to do so. You know exactly what it is you want. You're just waiting for the perfect timing for this to come through. You're waiting for the universe to restring that web, right? That spider web. Like I said, we take out some of that spider web. I always see life is kind of like a spider web. I'm going to take out these little pieces so that he can add new, fresh strings to it. So he can put in this new fate, this new destiny, this new path. I'm just waiting for him to finish up that spider web. Like Charlotte's. Never mind Charlotte's web. He's an awesome pig. Um, but you're waiting. It's faded in some way. It's the old way of dealing with the way that you've done things with your finances, your love. You've learned things. You've learned things enough that you can actually etch this in stone and say, you know what, I've learned from everything that I've done. Maybe I've learned how to manifest properly. Maybe I've learned from my old ways, my old, like I said, old habits. I've learned what and what I will and will not take within a love relationship. I've learned what self-worth is. I've learned self-love. Self-love enough to know what I deserve. Whether it's in job, love, however, all. And you're ready. You're ready for your exciting rewards. And boy, oh boy, is the universe going to give them to you. It was up to you and you knew it was up to you to make the initiation and you've done so. You had that winning spotlight attitude to be able to feel that holy grail. 
and you're being recognized by the universe. Oh my God. You have the magician. You know you are the magician. You learned to use the magic within yourself. You know, some of you say, I don't believe in manifesting. Fine, it's prayers. It's the way you, it could be mantra. It was the way you spoke to the universe. You asked, no matter what, it's all the same. Speaking out loud to the universe, talking to the universe, saying, I want this, I want that, I need this, I've learned that. That's all a part of prayers. It's all full part of mantras. It's all part, part of manifestations. It's all law and attraction. What you put out, you receive. Okay. You have the self-confidence and the clarity and the understanding to get what you want. You followed your dreams. Wow. And look at that. He's got the infinity at the top of his head. You know what you're doing. The moon. I follow my dreams. I follow my intuition. I didn't use fear. I didn't use anxieties when I was doing so. There could have been a little bit here and there. But it wasn't enough to keep me down. It wasn't enough to keep me away from my dreams. Spirit says you build, you build, you build. You had a long-term view. You put in all the hard work. There it is, hard work paying off. You were diligent. They recognize your diligence. Universe recognizes your investments of time, maybe money, love. All the investments that you put in, one way or another, even if it's just invest in, investments in energy, time, space, this is what helped it. That's what did it. Look at that, guys. You got the seven. Oh, my gosh. And then you have the eight and the nine and the one. And this is the ending to the new beginning. Seven, divine timing. Spirit hears you. You hold the keys within yourself. You're looking for that financial freedom. You're looking to be able to provide financially for your family. You were very practical about the situation, but you never gave up that pinnacle. That pinnacle, it doesn't matter if it's love. It doesn't matter if it's finances. It doesn't matter what it is. The pinnacle is the dream. And you watched it. You nurtured it. You gave it the attention that you wanted. You put in a lot of hard work in this. Even if it was real elbow grease, you did it. Take it how it resonates. Everybody's story is different, but you did it. And here comes your ending for your beautiful beginning of your new cycle change. You have transitioned. Not only have you transitioned, but keep following your dreams because you're transitioning as we speak. Transitioning in the way that you're using energy, the way you're thinking about how life is, the way you're seeing things, Believing in the impossible, keeping the faith, working hard, using your intuition, holding the vision. Everything that you've done, my friends, is changing. You have changed in your thought patterns. And you probably know that there's something about you has changed. You're saying, I'm not the same person I was three months ago. I'm not the same person I was a week ago. I'm not the same person I was a year ago. You're not. You know it, I know it, we all know it. You have put yourself into a more divine place. This is how you got initiated. This is how your dream got initiated because you hold that key, that power of the magician within your hands. No confusion. You cut right through all confusion. Using mental clarity. If you need to break through and you feel like there's still some things I need to break through with, go ahead and use them because it shows the growth and the clarity that you have. If you come across any kind of new conflicts, you'll know how to just cut right through that. Not allowing people to naysay your dreams. Oh my God, naysay your hopes, your, <laughs> your faith, your purpose. Holding on, you have a renewal of spirit. And that's what I'm saying. You are not the same person you were whenever. And you know when it was. You can look back and say, you know what, I'm not. I know I'm not. Spiritually, I'm more in touch with myself, my surroundings, 
nature, ideas, everything. Having faith within your dreams, that's definitely going way over there. The star, you are the star of the show. You've learned things. You've learned how to manifest. You've learned how to put things out there. And yeah, intuition, you are the high priestess. So not only are you the magician, my friend, you are the high, the high priestess. You have the knowledge to under, and the understanding. Follow your dreams that are coming through. You've been become more in touch with yourself and your sensitive and the knowing and your divine areas and divine rights. So hold that vision as, you know, hold that vision because you're transforming. You've let go of all your baggage. Spirit says, I see you left all your baggage behind. If you have any baggage still left, let it go so that I can bring new things in because I want to bring in the king of pinnacles. I want to bring in the wealth. I want to bring in the business. I want to bring in the leadership. I have discipline. I have the generosity. And I want you to let these things go so I can bring this in. You might even have an Aquarius or a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn coming towards you. Could even be, I don't know why, but I want to say a Leo. Oh my God, I said Leo. And then the next card is Queen of Wands which is my Leo card. Um, yeah, you've shown the courage and the independence and the zest for life. You have that determination and that joy. So whatever baggage you're leaving behind, it could even be that you're leaving behind baggage from a Taurus moving towards a Leo. But however it is, it's like, you know what, I'm going to leave all this baggage behind so that I can get to the wealth in my dreams. Because I have abundance. Oh my gosh, you have abundance, my friends. Look at this. For some of you, you have new love coming in. With the Queen of Cups, I have the compassion, the love. I want my cups. There it is, the Holy Grail. Oh my gosh, I've just seen it. Because I have the Holy Grail. There's your Holy Grail. And you have the Wheel of Fortune open. Wow. What in the world? Oh my God, and under that, you have the Sun card. What is going on? <laughs> What's at the bottom of the deck? The Emperor underneath that <clears throat> oh my gosh guys this is beautiful don't allow yourself to have any kind of procrastination you know your spiritual path make sure that you're forming the ideas of what you need right don't want to get off path you know where you're supposed to go you are the emperor you have the respect you're going to sit in your throne you have the biggest yes card in the whole deck which is the sun the positivity, the new cycle change, the family, the love, the abundance, the prosperity with the Wheel of Fortune. As the Wheel of Fortune is opening up, and then you have the Ace of Cups. So if you're looking for that new job, just say yes to the dress. Yes. Because the sun says, yes, this is what's going on. Yes, this is how you're going to be happy. Yes. Why? Because the Wheel of Fortune is open. Your karmic cycles are done. You finish your karmic cycles. Your destiny is on its way. This is what inevitably faded. Why? Because we already said it was what? Etched in stone. You already etched it in stone. You did that on your own. You said, I'm not doing this anymore. I'll learn the lessons. I'll learn how to do this. I'm going to grow with the Ace of Swords. This is what I want. It's almost like, come hell or high water, this is what I'm getting. Clarify on what they're getting. For some of them, please. Some of you are getting a new career, a new business, saving money for a house, new love. You have great fortune. <sighs> Clarifying. Expect great fortune. Wow. Expect great fortune. There will be no more despair, my friends. Ho, oh, ho. Yes. Anything else, please, for the beautiful air signs? On the right path to your destiny. On the right path to your what? Your new cycle. The death card. To your new cycle. To your new life. Because you did the butterfly effect. So honor the high road. You're on the high road. That is where you're going. 
very beautiful. Wow. Okay. Bet you have the sun. You know where you're going. You know what you want to do. Look at this. Unexpected income. Some of you want that job. There's that job. You want that love. There's that love. Right? Absolutely. It looks like you guys might even have a message coming in. So everybody wait, wait for the message. Okay? Message coming in. Okay? See what the angels have to say. Wait for the message. There's going to be a message. God. I feel like that message is either for work or um, for love or for some of you, both. I don't know why I want to say both, but I want to feel that way. Look at this. A year from now, you're not going to be the same person at all. Literally, trust Trust this situation. You will not be the same person a year from now. If I talk to you a year from now, you're going to tell me, you know what, Gold Wildfire, I am not the same person. One way or another. I'm even more changed than I was changed before. I am definitely on the right path. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, shit hits the fan all the time. But overall, I am not the same person. I've got a new house. I've got a new car. Maybe I have a new spouse. I have, you know, whatever. Everything about me in a lot of ways is different. And then a lot of things might be the same, right? And then you're just going to continue to grow and try to figure out how to fix those things, right? Because not everything in the world, yes, is going to be 100, right? But you will feel in a better place. You're going to feel like, you know, I'm ready to take action in the new steps of my life. Let's work on this now, right? Because we're always working. We're always building. We're always doing something. If we're not doing something, then we are dead because we are not human. Or maybe you were abducted by aliens. <laughs> Which means you're not even on this planet. So, just saying, right? I know, I'm always so silly. But, seriously. Because you're going to look back and you're going to say, Boy! Things surely are different. Just like they were different from... Remember when you were five years old? You sure as heck aren't the same person when you were 15 from five, right? Things have changed. Right? Things are different. I went from, you know, I went from my tricycle to a car, right? Look at that. You have the victory... Public recognition victory with the world completed to the Ace of Pentacles. Whoa, the Ace of Pentacles. New ideas formulating. Wow, you guys got all kinds of stuff happening. Wow, we're, I'm just going to give it up there because I want to see what's going on at the end of the month because you got a lot of stuff happening over here, air signs. There's a lot of stuff, and a lot of this is from karmic judgment and learned lessons, literally, which doesn't really surprise me. But, um... I don't want to dig too deep because I really do think it's going to start getting into what the end month wants to say. And I don't want to ruin that because then it will feel like we're saying the same thing twice. Okay. One way or another. Of course, because you're all different air signs, it'll be different, but it's going to accumulate somewhat the same. Right. So <clears throat> because of that air energy. Okay, my friends. And that was it for you. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.